Hey there friend, in today's video I want to show you how I take hair that I create inside of Blender. Even though I know this is a tiny amount of hair, I want to show you how I get this into Character Creator 3 and eventually into uh, iClone as you see in this animation here. So um, I'll take you through my process of getting from Blender hair particles into Character Creator 3. Okay, so we'll start with this human here, and we're gonna go over to um, the hair tool, and we're gonna set the particle hair and connected. So we've got that set up, and we're gonna adjust the points per strand, and you can play around with some of this other stuff. But after you do that, you select everything, you select the object you're gonna draw on, press draw hair, and then start just kind of clicking and dragging that hair in a certain direction that you want it to go. So after you get a couple of these things, and I'm not gonna model this whole hair out here, just a couple of them, change it to particle. And then you can actually start to brush these using these tools on the left. You can adjust all these down. Sometimes you'll notice they don't move, but I found that if you zoom in just a little bit, then it'll start to uh, recognize the brush. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's just mine, I don't know. But let's change this to shaded view. And you can see I keep clipping in, so I'm gonna adjust that in just a little bit. But um, turn on interactive grooming, and that'll convert these particles to uh, curves, I believe, is what's happening. So now you've got these curves going with the particles. You can change the points per strand. Um, make them a little bit smoother. You can change the width of those strands and fix the tilt alignment. And you can also generate children if you want. Because I didn't pick any surfaces, it's gonna basically scatter the children all over this entire uh, person. It's not gonna concentrate them to the head, so I'm not gonna do that. So you can see I'm clipping in. So if you go to view, you have this problem, just change the clip start place. Um, to lower and you won't be clipping as you zoom in to stuff. So now we've got um, inside this hair tool, we've got these curves. And what we want to do to get these out to character creator, we want to convert those to a mesh. And so you do um, curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. So now it creates this, this mesh here. So we can do file export OBJ and we'll export the selected to an OBJ file and make sure you check selection only and we'll do export OBJ. So now we've got our little strands of hair, um, which obviously you would do more than this, but this is just to show you the process of how this whole thing goes. So we're in character creator, go to create accessory and import that OBJ file. We'll bring that in. It's going to drop it down at the bottom near her feet and it's actually tiny um, just something I quite haven't quite figured out the scaling of all this stuff centimeters meters all that so um, you can scale it up I've noticed you cannot scale to 10,000 so I do 9999 and uh, and we'll it'll move it back up kind of relative so I just need to move it a little bit higher I built this on top of a not the same human so and move it into position a little bit there. Once you've got that where you want it, do uh, transfer skin mesh, choose hair, and apply that, and then we'll close this. So now if you move her body, it'll, it'll move the hair along with it. So you go in, assign all the materials, change this to digital human hair shader, and just go and pop all your materials that you've got set up for this um, hair mesh. All right, so now we got all those set up, and you can see if you do a quick eye ray rendering, you get that hair right there on the head. So that's the process. Hope you enjoy this video, and uh, I look forward to making more.